The airstrikes killed the intended target, but in the tightly packed streets of Gaza, civilian casualties are almost inevitable. It fuels the anger of those trapped in the blockaded Palestinian territory and perpetuates the conflict. The Israeli military released aerial footage of the missile attack on the apartment block. It shows four separate explosions and floors collapsing within the building. Islamic Jihad confirmed its northern Gaza commander, Taisir al-Jabri, was killed, but Palestinian officials say a five-year-old girl was among others who died. Dozens more were injured. So this was a very, very accurate and good attack. The Israeli Defense Forces excel more than any other uh, army in the world in their the ability uh, to use very accurate uh, attacks, uh, minimizing to the minimum uh, collateral damage. But it, it, uh, unfortunately, it's almost never zero. Israel said the strike was in response to an imminent threat against civilians from militant squads armed with anti-tank missiles. The latest trigger in the conflict was the arrest of an Islamic Jihad leader in the West Bank earlier this week. Israel was ready for retaliation and began closing roads and moving reinforcements into southern Israel. They've also halted a fuel delivery to Gaza's only power station, making electricity cuts more likely. As Israeli commanders met to review the operation, the country's prime minister, Yair Lapid, defended the attack. A statement said he would not allow terrorist organizations in the Gaza Strip to set the agenda and threaten Israeli citizens. But such action almost always leads to a reaction. Within hours of the missile attack, funerals were held for the militants who were killed. The Israelis have already emphasized that they were targeting Islamic Jihad, gambling that Hamas, the better equipped group which controls Gaza, will not retaliate. History suggests that that may be wishful thinking, and Israel's defense system is already busy trying to intercept rockets fired across its southern border. Ian Woods, News at 10.